there, welcome back to Erin Blackburn Fitness. My name is Erin and today we will be working our abdominals and our core muscles. Now this is aimed at seniors and beginners, so it's a lovely low impact, gentle beginner ab workout. All we need for this is an exercise mat. If you don't have a mat, then you could grab yourself a blanket or a towel and you can just lay on top of that instead. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers for leaving such lovely comments. If you want to see a certain workout, leave me a comment and I will add it on my list to do. So get yourself set up and we'll begin. To begin, we are going to lay down on our mat. So if we start with our feet flat on the mat, hands underneath the thighs, and we're slowly going to lay down. So start by placing down the lower back then the middle back and finally the upper back good you might just have to wiggle yourself down and make sure you're in the center of that mat so to begin bring the right shin in towards the chest and let's just take a few deep breaths here and then place that right foot down and then we'll lift up the left and do the same good i like to take a few moments to think about what we're about to do, get ready to engage those muscles, take a few deep breaths, and then that left foot comes down too. Now let's bring both the knees up to the chest, hands down by our sides, and we're going to take some circles here. Good, and when we're ready, we're going to go in the opposite direction. So we're circling round with the lead. Well done. And then let's place both feet down. Good. Feet want to be about a foot distance apart. We'll place our hands onto our thighs. Now, I want you to squeeze your bottom and press your lower back down into the ground. Good, and you should feel that sort of tilt underneath of the pelvis there. So pressing the lower back down, squeezing the glutes. Exhale, we stroke up the thighs. And as we inhale, we come back down. When we're doing our abdominal exercises, you exhale with the effort. So the effort is lifting the shoulders off the mat. Good. And I like to see if I can get a little bit higher each time. Good. And it's important that we don't lose our neck here and we don't scrunch our chin into the chest. So if you can imagine that you've got a tennis ball or an apple underneath that chin. Good. Exhale up. And inhale to come back out. Nice. Once we get confident with this workout, and if you want to make it harder, what you can do is place two small hand weights, one in either hand, and we can use that as well. So we could come up and down. Good, exhale up, inhale down. You're also welcome to take the elbows out wide. If you are doing this, just be careful that you're not scrunching and bringing the elbows in there. So remember, that that tennis ball or that apple is underneath the chin. Good. Last one, we're going to hold up at the top. So exhale to lift and hold here, either with dumbbells in the hands or elbows out wide, or we can reach up towards the knees for three, two, and down we come. Well done. Now let's just give a little bit of a release in that lower back. Bring your heels nice and close to your bottom, hands by the sides, and we're going to push our hips up into a shoulder bridge and just hold here for a few moments. And back down, good. We're going to do that once more. Lift the hips up, squeeze the glutes and your pelvic floor muscles, and back down we come. Nice work. Now from here, we're going to take our legs into a tabletop. So we'll start by lifting the right foot up, 
press that lower back down, squeezing the glutes, and then lift that left leg up to join. Well done. So we should have a nice flat tabletop feel of the legs. Pressing that lower back down, pull the tummy button back. So pull the tummy button to the spine and holding here. And try to breathe, don't hold that breath. Now, if you find that your lower back is lifting and we're arching here, we want to make this smaller. So press that lower back down and you might have to bring the knees close to the body. If you're feeling really strong in your core and your abdominals, you can take the legs further away. Now, the further away they are and the longer the legs are, the more challenging this is. So if you are struggling, you bring it in closer. Just really make sure that lower back is pressing down. Whew, it's quite hard to talk whilst doing this one. Let's have three, two, and bring it into the chest. Nice. I quite enjoy just gently rocking side to side here, but you're welcome to hold it still. Good. So now we understand that tabletop position, we're going to add some movement to it. So let's take that right leg out first into a tabletop and then the left leg too. Now from here, we're going to tap our right toes down and then lift it up and then swap for the left foot. Again, if we're struggling, we can always make it smaller, not go quite as low and keep the legs closer. If we can, take it out a little bit further and gently tap the toes down, keeping that lower back pressing down into the ground, into the mat or your blanket. And if you're coming back to this workout and you want a little bit more of a challenge, we could even do it with both feet. Good. But for today, I'm going to show you with just the one. Really squeeze the tummy, the abdominals, engage those core muscles. And let's do one more each leg, one and two. And then let's bring the thighs back towards the chest. Good, take a few moments here to breathe, maybe enjoy rocking. Sometimes it feels good to go in a circular motion. Make sure you go in the opposite direction too. Nice work, well done. Okay, for this next exercise, we're going to take both legs up in the air. Now, don't worry if you're a little bit tighter in the legs. We can always bend the legs slightly here. Now, for this, we're going to take one leg down, and then we bend the leg and bring it all the way back up. And then we go with the other side. So keeping that lower back pressing down. If you feel like that back is lifting, then we make it slower, so we just do a smaller leg here. Yeah. The lower you take that leg, the more challenging it is. Good. Now, if you are coming back to this workout, and again, you are wanting more of a challenge, you could, and this is a challenge, take both legs down, Keeping that lower back pressing down, then bend and take them up again. Good. So this is your advanced version. But for me today, we're going to keep it at a beginner level. I hope we're all still breathing. Do one small on each leg. Good work. And bring the knees back into the chest. Well done. Now, we're going to take the arms out wider here and then press the legs into that tabletop position. Now, this time, we're going to see if we can take our knees both knees 
to one side of the room as low as we can get them without touching the floor and then we squeeze our sides to lift them all the way back up and then we go in the opposite direction. Now keep the shoulders pressed down. We are working our waist here. The lower you take the legs, the harder it is. So if we are a beginner, then we'll do this much smaller. So here, we do it as small as this. Or if we are more advanced, we want to take those legs to all of us touching the floor. Ooh, and squeeze to bring it back up, it's hard to talk whilst doing this one. And because I've been showing you the advanced versions, but when you've had a good practice and you're coming back to this workout, your option is to do it with a long leg. Oh, and I'm struggling with this because I really feel like I've gotten a little bit unfit during lockdown. And I know I'm a fitness instructor, but you know, we're all human. And I found lockdown hard to feel like I lost my mojo a little bit. But I feel like I'm getting it back and I'm ready to get fit and healthy again. Good. Well done, guys. And we will bring it all back in. And rest. Okay, for the next set of exercises, we're going to lay down on our side. So if we turn it over onto our side. Good, and you can lay however you feel comfortable here. You might want to come all the way down. Now, we want to bend the legs. And then from here, we're going to part the thighs. So lift that top leg up slightly. Good, so you've got a gap here. Now we're going to sort of come onto our back so our chest is faced in the sky and our elbows are out, pointing outwards. This isn't my stomach, I've got a pink um, waistband on these trousers but I'm really quite pale so it sort of looks like it's my tummy. Now elbows are out wide, chest facing up, we are going to lift up, shoulders are coming off on our exhale and inhale to come down. So we're working this sort of area here across that lower section, the lower abs, into the sides, exhale, come up, inhale, come down. we do one more so let's hold it up at the top exhale hold for three two and rest nice okay so we need to do the other side so we even ourselves out so i'll give you a few moments to get yourself on the opposite side instead of turning round you might want to spin your legs around so you can still see see me so we'll lay down on our other side and then once we are here, bend our legs, good, and then lift that top thigh up slightly so you've got that gap there, good, and then bring our shoulders back and our chest is facing up, exhale to come up, inhale to come down, exhale to lift. Our chest facing up. And I always find one side harder than the other. I don't know why, but this side for me must be a little bit weaker. And let's do one more 
all the way up, hold for three, two, and rest. Well done. And that was our final exercise. Let's come onto our back and let's take a nice big pencil stretch. So arms in one direction, legs in the other. Take a few deep breaths. Good, slide the feet along the mat. Let's take hold of the legs. And I like to get up this way, I find it fun, but you guys can sit up however you feel comfortable, however you like to get there. But for me, I like to rock until I get enough momentum to sit on my bottom. And there we have it. Well done, that is your ab workout complete. I hope you enjoyed that and if you did please don't forget to click like and subscribe. I am so close to 1000 subscribers so I really appreciate all your support. I hope to see you on the next workout. Bye!